Zoe, I can see you. It is such a strange thing. After so many years. Hmm. It is good to see your face again. <laughs> I had almost forgotten. You look good. Very good. How has America been treating you? Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. I heard tales, of course. It is good to know that they are indeed true. My little sister, you have been... You've been doing so well over there. I'm so proud of you. Hmm. But it is surprising for you to call just like that, out of the blue. Did something happen? Is there anything? Hmm. So you require my help. It's not something you can tell me more about. Oh. Zoe. There is a lot going on here in the city. Tensions are rising. There are... Multiple sects moving in against each other. Camarilla here has a strong foothold, but it's getting more unsteady by the day. You must have heard about our prince, Maria Vanderhoff. She... Hmm, I guess war travels rather fast, and that war travels to the Sabbat and the Anarchs as well. I simply don't know if I would have the time to... Hmm. Yes. I've missed you too. I wish I could be there again with you, hold you in my arms, soothe you to sleep when you had your nightmare. I understand. So you mentioned a package. There is a package of some sort that I will have to receive for you here in Amsterdam. Mm, I understand. Um, well, my sweet sister, anything? Anything for you? Anything I'm... I'm just so worried, you know? I don't think I'll ever stop worrying about you. When you were younger, you were so small and... You still are, but... There is... Something about you that makes me always want to protect you. I know, you don't need protecting anymore. Not for me. You haven't in a very long time. I know. 
I'll have to start accepting that. But for now, tell me what I need to know, what I can do to help you. Okay, yeah. The details. So, around 4 p.m. my time, a package will depart towards you. Flight number KL612. It should arrive in Amsterdam at around 6.45 a.m. It, it will, of course, be necessary for you to use a ghoul or someone that you trust immensely with this. If you can't give me that, then I'd have to ask elsewhere for help, but... Celine, you are my last hope in this. I've had a night that I can't even begin to explain how rough it was. And the thing is, I, I cannot tell you anything yet, even though I want to, trust me. It's just everything is so fucked, so fucked. <sighs> but thank you, sis, for saving my ass again. I, uh, I really do appreciate it. Hmm. Hmm. Anyways, I... feel really bad about not being in touch with you for all those years. It's difficult to talk about, you know? We really went through a lot of bullshit and a large part of me just wants to push it away and not think about it, and maybe if I don't think about it, it's not there anymore, but it is, and I've been finding it really hard to deal with what happened. I know this, it's not the time or place to discuss this stuff, but just been keeping me up, you know? <laughs> anyway, I... You look good, Celine. You look like you've got everything together. You have a child now. And a club. I hear it's been absolutely thriving. I'm really, really quite proud of you. Now, I really hope that once this whole mess is over and with any luck, it will be soon. I want to reconnect with you, Celine. Um, I know we both have a lot of responsibilities, and I definitely do here. There are a couple jobs that... still have some loose ends that I need to tie up, but... I think there should be time for us to talk, you know, at least sometimes. Well, don't assign me a room just yet, but I want to come visit. 
not for business, not for dealing with this shit, but to visit you. I want to see what your life is like now. And I want you to know about mine. I promise. Now, I'll be tracking that flight number as well. Please let me know if anything comes up, okay? <sighs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I... I kind of think you're not for helping me with this. I'll be in touch, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I love you too. Well, you weren't exactly what I expected when Zoe told me there would be a package that I'd have to take care of. Yes, she neglected to tell me that the package is, in fact, a fledgling. How old are you, dear? You don't look much older than a few night. You are. No, no. Oh, Zoe. What did you <laughs> drop onto my doorstep? Well, no matter, there's nothing. They can change about this now. You're here, and... I'll just have to see what Zoe tells me when she gets here. <sighs> what was your name again, dear? Hannah. Very beautiful name. <sighs> Look. I promised my sister, my young sister, that I would do everything I can to keep you safe. And I will. But, well, you don't know much about kindred society, of course, I doubt you <laughs> know much about yourself, but the changes in the changes in your system um, but I have some very, very important business to take care of I cannot take you with me, but I can leave you here with my own child Mm. This club here, Club Static, it is my own, and it is a very safe area within the city, all things considered. And, well, my child, they will take care of you and keep you safe and, and help you with anything you might need. But I need you to sit tight, okay? I don't want you to talk to anyone besides my child, of course. Do not leave this room. My child, they will provide you with anything you might need. Mm. Mm. Well, they have been sired by me only a couple of years ago. So if you do have questions, which I'm sure you do, you can go to them, all right? Okay. I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> more than a little bit stressed. It's been a rough couple nights, and this is a complication that I didn't exactly 
need but as Zoe's child you are of course more than welcome here you will be treated as family okay good now I will be going on my meeting very shortly is there anything else that I can do for you right now? Okay, Hannah. I will see you again in a couple hours, alright? Don't cause any trouble now. Good. Hmm.